Well, Boyanda Primary School, located close to Kanjersi Game Reserve and Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. The school was established in 1996 and has a population of 900 pupils. Children singing a song to address the challenge of inadequate of pit latrine in school, shortage of water, and problems of wildlife poaching in national parks. In our school, we face challenge of inadequate pit latrine, storage of water. We need support from donors, governments, and organizations to support us on construction of toilets. Sometimes we use to go at the forest and the bush for defecation. This causes diseases associated with poor hygiene like diarrhea. And because we already have, so if you, um, the girls have to have go on one side and the boys go on the other and, um, which is typical in most schools, but, um, but here too there's not a big difference between the two. So when girls have, um, you know, the age when they start having puberty too, um, having to go in this area is not good sanitation. So it's something that definitely can be fixed, especially with the water source to have cleaner, cleaner access, but um, it's something that unfortunately they've had to deal with for a long time. People kill elephants and rhinos in order to take ivory and sell in order to get money. People and conservation is advocacy to protect wildlife while wildlife like elephant destroy our crops and injures or kills people in our village. What is the benefit of wildlife to us? Wildlife is a natural resource of the nation. Tourists from America, Europe, and other countries visit at the national parks to see the wildlife despite the cause of problems. We are not supposed to kill them. When they migrate in farms, inform village game scout or ranger to chase away from the farm to return in the game reserve and national parks. Wildlife is our nation's natural resource. The benefit is for you, for your future children and grandchildren will see the wildlife if you kill the wildlife, the wildlife generation will be destroyed and as a result will become history that Tanzania had wildlife like elephants and rhinos. We need to protect wildlife found in Tanzania for future generations and foreign income through tourist business which earns foreign income. Our school have an adequate pit latrine. When we want to use for defecation, we compete for a chance to use it. For those missed opportunity to go, have to go in the forest and bush to defecate. As a village leader, how can you help us to have pit latrine in our school? <laughs> defecation in bush and forest can cause diseases like diarrhea and other diseases associated with poor hygiene. My contribution is I will share the problems to stakeholders like Peace for Conservation and other organizations to seek support for constructing toilets and schools. The community has agreed to assist with money and power, like collecting sand, stone, and fetching water to be used during construction of toilets. I advise the government of Tanzania to protect wildlife by conducting regular patrols at national parks and game reserves, improve welfare of rangers, protect wildlife, sensitize the community to protect wildlife, habitat, and environment. When wildlife destroys crops and kills people and injures people, what advice do you have to the government?
I advise the government to provide compensation for those affected by crop raid and those who get injuries caused by wildlife. Here in Mobayanda Village, it's really close to Lamadi in the Serengeti National Park. And the school here has ages 8 to 15 year olds. And they are doing amazing, but they also are really lacking in facilities. And coming here and seeing the toilets and there's no clean access to water. And when I was talking to some of them, they had mentioned that even during school, without the access to water around here, they get tired during the day because they need to hydrate and their schoolwork ends up being lacking. So when asking what the children need, it's clean water, it's better facilities in terms of you know having that water to clean and have sanitation in the bathrooms. And those little things will help so much for them to be able to learn and to really excel at school. And education is something that I really, really care about, especially for the younger generation. So if you feel the same too, Peace for Conservation is doing work here in the village and in the school. So hopefully you will have better access to water and facilities in the next coming year. <laughs> Provide conservation education to children while still young helps the children to grow with the notion of conservation. When they become adults, they will be a good conservationist and will not be involved in wildlife poaching and will not get in problems with poachers. Most of poachers came from villages closer to game reserve and national park and living in the community. It's very rare to see poachers come out side of the communities closer to the National Park and Game Reserve. Wanazunguka pembezoni mwa nini? Mwa hifadhi. Kwa hiyo kama tutaweza kutengeneza hiki kizazi ambacho ni kidogo sasa hivi kikawa na ule moyo wa uhifadhi, basi tutakuwa tumefanikiwa kwa kiwango kikubwa sana.